we don't we don't need you here today. You know what I mean? We we don't need you here today. They, they told us a lot. Just may turn around, turn around, turn around. So I'm, I'm ready to get into it, fellas. I'm ready to do this. We Let's got go. a couple. We, we, we hold on now, hold on now, slow down, baby. Let me cook. Let me cook. Slow down. Uh, we got a couple. We got a couple guests in the house. You know, giving honor, yeah. giving honor to Reverend Usher Boyd. You know, let us for the let, for the visitors. Let them shout out. You know, let's go A, let's go AG for beauty. Let's hear from the mic, Doc. Oh man, you know what time it is, the mic, Doc. It's your boy T H E M I C D R, baby. You know what time it is. I'm here. I'm ready to drop some science, like I always do every time I show up. I'm gonna show out. Y'all got my man Russ on here too. What's cracking, Russ? Man, what's up with y'all? This is Russ, straight from Pittsburgh, PA. You know what I'm saying? But I put some um, young youth up in here for them. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, yeah, baby. Cute. Man, he called us old, y'all. Shit. Yeah, I heard him. I heard what he said. I heard what he said. I mean, he do look a little younger, you know what I mean? We'll see. We'll see what he talking about. He still got about. all his we'll natural black talking. hair. Let's see. <laughs> got it all, baby. Oh, young boy. Let's get it cracking, man. Let's get it cracking. Mm. Hmm. Man, oh, the fellas, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Well, real quick, before we do, what did what, what, what everybody get into over the weekend? You know what I mean? Was it just sports, family? What you, what you got going on for what y'all do last weekend? I did a little bit of – I did half – I did 90% sports, 10% friends. Mm. Yeah, I, I watched you. a lot of football. Uh, my wife had company and her sorority sisters were in town. They were doing their thing in the house. I'm out here in the command center, you know, drinking uh, soda, water, whatever, out my fridge. Uh, I smoked a couple – I smoked some chicken breasts. Uh, bake some cookies. Um, that's about it, man. That, that was it. That was my week. Oh, I went pick up some new flooring for my um, my master bathroom. That's gonna be done this week, uh, finally. So, but yeah, that was about it for me. Okay, what about you, Mike Doc? What'd you get into over the weekend, hey, not, baby? Not really, man. Not really. You know the boys they have football games. So my son and them they had a football game. He actually scored him a tutty this past weekend. They're actually. Ranked number nine in the state, man. So we'll see what they what they're gonna do. And then of course my little one, six year old, just put him in flag football. So he had a little game this weekend, man. That stuff is funny, man. Watching them five year olds, they just they, they be pulling each other's flag. <laughs> we never had flag coming up. That's crazy. Right, no. right, right. I mean, we started at like seven. We started right at tackle. I like got seven. Oh, Some of them would just run off the field. Hey, mama, I'm thirsty in the middle of the play. <laughs> it's, funny. <laughs> it's funny, man. It's funny to watch the little kids play, man. But yeah, that's all I did, man. Spent a little time with the family, did a little sports thing, and of course, chilled and uh, do what I always do, baby. What about you, Russ? What'd you do? Get up off the couch all fast, run around the house with all that young energy. No, nah, this was a chill weekend this weekend. We were chilling all weekend. I got you. I got you. Yeah. All right, fellas. So, wait, real quick, democracy <laughs> here on the OSPP. Always. Do we start with Salah or do we start with Bama? Start with Bama. I would say Bama, yeah. Saturday. Saturday yeah. and the Sunday in the Monday. Big topic. Okay. I, I got a, I, I got a two point. I got a, a, a two part question. Number one, was it a trap game? Because Dober's taking a lot of heat, taking a lot of heat. You're not saving bliss, this, that, and the third. Was it a trap game? Answer that first, fellas. No, I don't no. think it was. I don't think so either. No. You, so you're thinking they just didn't they take lost. him seriously? Just, ben, what, Ben that hasn't beaten ben, ben in, what, 40 years, was it? Yes. It, it's been yes, 80-something, yes. So they, okay, all right. Now, yeah. does, it, does the loss mean anything? Yes. It does. Okay. Tell me it why. Means, it means going forward, everybody's gonna get their ass. They're gonna get their ass handed to them by Bama. Well, okay. All right. But okay. What you think, Mike Doc? Does it, in the grand scheme of things, big deal, no deal, little deal? I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't think it's a little deal, but it's something. If you're, you know, if you're a Bama player or a fan, you got to definitely be aware of with that loss because you still got a little ways to go to get through the SEC, man. And so, um, it, it could potentially. You know, shake out to where you know maybe maybe they don't make it. They they can't afford any more uh, losses. I don't think because you still got a one loss Georgia out there, man. So you know, we all know they want at least three from the SEC and at least three from the Big Ten. You know, probably two from the ACC, maybe Notre Dame or something like that. So I mean, they got to be careful, man. You can't. And I think they dropped to what? How low are they? What seven somewhere around in there? Now since uh, that loss, the new AP ranking somewhere in there. I'll so you that. figure. 
somewhere in that ballpark, man, they can't they can't afford to to have uh, any more any any more slip ups. What, what you got on it, Russ? Let's see what you uh, got. I definitely think it's a big loss because they um they got um they can't afford to lose now at all. Right. Now, like James James said, game. they have to beat everybody now. Right. There ain't no more slip ups. They, if they, and if they don't, now it's like, who are y'all really? Yeah. Unless they lose, at least they got to at least make it to the SEC championship game. They dropped to seven. See, uh, and honestly, and you, and you make good points, fellas. I, I, I don't see it being a big deal, and here's why: because who, who do we see to challenge them? In the Maybe I mean you don't know how to challenge the schedule shake out, but who? Tennessee, uh, Oklahoma, possibly. They okay. just lost to Vanderbilt. Come on, man. I get that. And we get everything. We yeah. get everything Here's the thing. In 40 years, you're about to. Hell, so I mean, once every 40 years, I'll take that. However, however, here's my thing. There's 12 teams this year, fellas. Now, even if they lose two, it's going to be hard for you to convince me in most of college football that Bama's still not two of the, one of the top 12 teams oh, in the country. Yeah, exactly. I so agree that, with that's, that. that's where my thing is. So now, yeah. you know, it, 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 it will matter – if they get a lower seed, hypothetically, if they got a 10 or 11 seed, now they should have a harder gauntlet to go through if they had a one or two seed. Now, do any of you guys actually know how the seeding works? Because don't a couple get buys or hot? I think I'm not exactly sure how, you know, it goes. I think the, but, top, I think the, the top four conference, don't, isn't it the top four conference champions get the right. first, you know, the first yes. buy? And then I think the remaining, what's uh, what, five through 12 play it yes. out? Yes. Now, the now higher having, seeds hosting the hosting hosting the games, I believe something like that. Okay, so that's what I was getting at. So they'll all be on the lower seed is always going to be the home team. Now that could be something if Bama had to travel every you know, day. If they have the higher, so so the top four champ, I think the top four top conference champs. champions, you know, of course, are one through four, and then the remaining, you know, yeah, uh, so, you know the remaining eight play it out. And so hypothetically, has if, a higher seed if they're home game, and then I don't know how that how it lines up after that, but yeah, it'll be interesting. Now, they got to at least get to the SEC championship game. Man. Now, I would think that the top four, once they start, they'll always be home until it gets to whatever. So you say if you if if Bama hypothetically has two losses, doesn't get to the SEC championship, you don't think they'll get in? No. I don't wow. Think. Two losses and you don't make you have two yeah, losses they, they don't and you don't even them. make your own conference championship game. That's tough. That's tough. What, to but that's them. the beauty of 12 teams now. Yeah, and not the top four. They have man. To. Man, well, now, you know for a fact they're gonna want Notre Dame in there. So if lo as long as Notre Dame can stay steady, you know, they'll get that's in true. for sure. So you still think y'all still think Notre Dame gets that shine. They want I mean they still got a TV deal. I get that. You they do. that's what that's they what get it is. The shine. They, 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 yeah, they get the shine. They're gonna get the benefit of the doubt now. I don't know how many games they've lost. Let me just let me check on them. I think they Boy, lost that one to Northern Illinois, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. They had a nice they're comeback number, against them. Or, or, excuse me, AM. They had a nice comeback against AM. They're number 12 now, but yeah. They yeah. want Notre Dame. If Notre Dame runs the get. Notre Dame runs it, and they go eleven and one. They're in. Yeah. Did they? Don't they have one more tough, tough one? I think they play one more ranked. You know, they. All, I think they still got to play USC, which is always, regardless yeah. of rankings. That's always the end of the year game for those for those those two schools. Um. So that that's a tough one there. But hey, listen, Bama coming on. They're co they was coming off a tough game with Georgia, man. So. Yeah, and, and how about the story of that kid from from Vandy, the quarterback man, and 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 where he came from and all that. Did, did you see his little his tweet about contact by so and so for nil deals? That gets some of that money, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the crazy part is, the way college football is now, you have that one game, you can start getting that nil money. You can start yeah. getting, you saw the freshman from Bama Williams, how much more he got after he had that winning touchdown from right. Georgia. Yeah, One yeah. Man. Hey, right, did so you it. did you fellas real quick when they when Vandy won that game? Did you guys see um where they tore down the goalposts and all that and put it in the record? Do you know how long the street is that they carry it? And do you know what they ultimately end up doing with that goalpost? I never knew, and I was curious, so I searched it on TikTok. Hold on. It leaves, it leaves the stadium? 
They can yes. okay. I have no how it they, gets out, but they carry oh, it out of there out. somehow. They get it out of there, bro. And they where? Carry it. Listen, <laughs> they was literally just carrying it down. The way they way they get, I don't know, ambulances and fire trucks in those damn okay. Look, they carry it out and they carry it down this main street or something like that for like three, four, some odd miles, and then it ends where they dump it and throw it in a river. All right, hold on for a second. Is it the complete upright, or is it just a crossbar, or just the up? It's how does the, 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 the whole thing? Man, I thought they. I thought honestly, when they tore that down, I thought it came apart. I thought you could tear it like the. I'm the sure you that. can. I'm you sure can. They, they I wonder how much that Joker weighs. Oh, one, two. Yeah. It don't matter don't when know. you hopped up on when you hopped up on Bear. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. a big win for our school, man. Woo. Yeah, big. Now, win okay. Does Bandy? Make so there's we still don't see them in the playoff. Do, no. you think, do you think this will turn their season around where they make a decent bowl game, or or would have made they would this have mattered to where this could change the trajectory of recruiting for them? Their season are they no longer going to be the floorboard, the the the, the placemat, the floor mat of the I think, SEC? I think Vandy's always going to be Vandy, man. I mean, it's an SEC school, um, but it's a great the academic, academic school. Great there academic you go. School. There you go. Yeah. So uh, a lot of these kids you know, it, yeah, man. So, but I, I'll tell you this, man. It, it's uh, James Franklin was at Vandy. You can win at Vandy. I mean, they show you you can win there, man. You just got to, you know, it, the SEC is tough. The SEC is tough. But um, I'll be honest, I wasn't even thinking about Vandy. I didn't know even. I don't even know Vandy's you know record before they was even thinking about Alabama and all that till Alabama beat them and played them. And I was like, whoa. Pay attention, but I don't even, they're still not even ranked. I don't even know what their schedule is. I don't know nothing about Vandy. I'm about to tell you. So right now they're three and two. Next up is Kentucky, Ball State, number one Texas, Auburn, South Carolina, number Ooh. thirteen LSU, number eight Tennessee. Hey, so, of it, course, it, 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 it's it's a tough one, but it, it could be done. They you might only end up with two or three more wins. They're not beating Texas. They're not. They're not beating. They're not beating. They, they, they'll beat Ball State. Yeah. So you don't think they're going to win any more? You don't think they're going to win any more SEC games? They ain't not be, being no more SEC teams. But I was going to ask y'all, with the playoffs, do bowl games even matter anymore? Because I know, like, to me, I don't even care about a bowl game. Where, well, like, I'm going to go to your school for a bowl game. If I'm not at least in the playoffs, I don't even care. But see, here, here's the thing, real quick, and not, not trying to be funny, Russ. What I, us cats, fellas, remember. We used to love January 1st because we had every, every bowl game mattered. I mean, you got up, the first bowl started at 11, and you literally had football on until, what, midnight? And sometimes if you was lucky, you know, you'd be at his friend's house, and they might bring the TV from in. To, in the, you had three TVs on with all, watching three different games. I'm getting, was, dre- I'm getting dressed for New Year's at the hotel watching watching football the whole day. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. See now? See now, the rest? Players opt out. They didn't do that years ago when we were coming no. up. They didn't opt right. out. Everybody played. But check this out. Don't they now with this new playoff system? Don't they now have the big time bowls? You know, Sugar Bowl, Super Bowl, all those bowls. They put them in it, but with those playoff games. Yes, yes, yeah. But so those you're gonna have like the point. Now that is gonna make because it the name of it, and you're always gonna have ranked teams playing ranked teams is gonna be pretty yeah. good. But I, are you still gonna have like the point set a bowl, the butter bowl? You know, the Snoop, you should, the Snoop Dogg Arizona Bowl. What the? Yeah, heck? You always gonna have that, man, because those are opportunities for for them to make money, schools and everybody. Yeah. But look, before we move on, real quick, I don't know. I had shared this in a group text. It was just something that I I, I know the uh, ACC, I mean the SEC and Big Ten commissioners were involved in this meeting where there's this this uh, private group that put together billions of dollars that put together this seventy billion dollar. I think I shared it with you, chops, in that group. Business plan for or not 70, but a, a 70 team. I don't know, 70 team, nine billion, nine billion dollar package for uh, this, this kind of like a playoff, the playoffs, uh, like, the bas- like basketball, with yes. college. yeah, man. man. And it would take it would kind of pick the you know, basically Big Ten, SEC, some ACC, of course, Notre Dame, and create this 70 uh, team league and infuse nine billion in guaranteed money. And the money would be tiered based off your wins. Uh, or, yeah. Uh, so one tier one would guarantee you a hundred like some odd million a year. Tier two would get yeah, man, it's crazy. I don't like that, Doc. I don't like that. 
But, I but like see, conferences. I like the conferences. I like that. See, here's the thing, though. It's going to like it, this is a business move. We understand it's a business move, money grab. But with the NIL, if this if 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 this were to come into play, would more teams do like the Ohio State and just pay more players, pay more money, and almost buy the championship? Now, Ohio State hasn't done it yet, but would something like this a seventy team? Because then at that point, fellas, would you have Boise State playing Ohio State this week, then Oregon next week? And possibly a Penn State to week, you know where they all. Well, that's to- part of that deal was this league. It eliminates all the it eliminates all the F- F- FCSs, all those lower tier schools, and forces you to play the big time Division One conference games out the gate. It takes away getting all those playing those smaller schools to prepare. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different. And at the end, it really said, you know, th- this may not take footing right now, but this eventually it's worth will be it's something like how that. How it operates because of the money. Yeah, something like this. Again, it may not be this actual, but it's going to be something like this. 70 teams is a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a whole but, lot. Well, <laughs> think about it. There's they went to 12. How many in Division One football, though? How many? How many? How many? One, 32, one. There's a grip. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but then even, fellas, keep it a buck. Even if you go 70, there's going to be the 71st and 72nd team that used to go complain. And why do we get left out? I should be right. Right. Why do we get left out? Yeah. All right, fellas. They told your boy Salah, Arriba Dirt Day. They told him kick rocks. Is was it fair? And I hate to use the word fair. fair. Did you see it coming? Was it justified? Speak on it. Go ahead, Russ. Uh I think it was just business. At, at the end of the day, I think it was bound to happen at some point in the season. They had they had to let someone go, and it definitely was going to be him, basically. So he was a scapegoat, is what you're saying? It has to be. Well, Here's if you the- believe what they're saying, and the owner, Woody Johnson, just saying, hey, look, he just said, look, he, we're two and three. You know, I, I think we need to be – better than we are we should be a long a lot better where we are and this is my decision my decision only although he did say he did talk to Aaron Rodgers and others about it but Salah didn't even know he showed up on Tuesday morning like it was regular work <laughs> and as soon as he got there he was brought talked to by the owner brought directly to the owner they had to escort him out security had to escort him out the building yeah, yeah. Look, man, yeah he was good man that's crazy that's, that's crazy. crazy that's crazy because I, I think he's the first Jet coach to to be fired mid season like that since like I think it was like 1976 that like Lou Holtz and he resigned or something like that. They, so that's crazy to happen and it, it was definitely because of their situation. But man, it's hard to put it on him when you, you as an owner you wine and dine Aaron Rodgers and flying back and forth and do all this and and then you know bring Hackett and bring all his uh, Lazard and sign all this, like do all these things for him and and. He can't control it, Rod. He don't even show up to practices and man, you know all right. these things. He's doing what he wants to do, man. And, and that's the not play well, it's right? On him, yeah. but the reality is, and a lot of people are saying it. Aaron Rodgers is the one that's not playing very well, right? Listen, yeah. not to mention, not to mention, Doc. He's a stone cold bum. He's a bum now. I don't care what y'all say. He's a bum. These guys don't believe that you could be in the NFL and be a bum. He's a bum. Okay, <laughs> now let's get on. Like you said, though, they brought him in. They wind him and down him, but you know, like, 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 yeah, yeah. Lazaro missed the ball, and he'll like, oh, and he'll throw three bad passes and act like like nothing's wrong. Like you just f- fucked up. Yeah, yeah man. I, I just think it's it's. I get it. It's part of the business, and it's it's how things how how a lot like of teams it. operate. You know, there's certain like teams that don't operate like that. Pittsburgh does not operate like teams like that. Organizations, New England, they don't operate like that, but. For whatever reason, I think you know it just it it was bound to happen. But man, I just think it it it, they, it, it it's dirty behind behind closed doors. You know, is is you know the coaches that like man they did dirty man, but I'm tearing everything. Man, yeah, it's a business. It's the NFL, blah, 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 such as life. As we prepare for what we're worried about this week, that that's what it is. And how do you fire him and then bring a defensive coordinator? The defense is not the problem at all. He was a defensive-minded coach. Right. It's not, that defense ain't the problem. It's, it's Aaron Rodgers. You know. It's Aaron Rodgers, bottom line. It's Aaron Rodgers. Because here's my thing. Garrett Wilson was better with Zach Wilson. Yes, he was. <laughs> so you would think with Aaron Rodgers coming in, 
Garrett Wilson's game would go from here, which everybody already says he's a dog, to up here. But for whatever reason, they're not clicking. They ain't clicking with Mike Williams. No. Mike but Williams is out there running around. Devontae Adams, so we'll see. Yeah, he, Mike Williams out there like radio. He just running around in circles. Man, you know what they were in the division? He's a little. And, and he, has, he has Brees Hall. Yeah. He has a Allen. rookie Allen. Like, man, he got, he got some weapons. Phyllis, yeah. honestly, I know he's back from his Achilles. Yeah, he doesn't look back. I understand. First off, you're, you're 40, right? Brady didn't take the hits or the injuries that Rodgers took. It took your boy, and he's, what, four or five years younger, cousins, to start being a little bit more mobile. Rodgers wasn't real mobile before the injury. Now – He's not. It's like he's not trusting his own line. He's not trusting his leg. I don't know how much you guys watched the game on Sunday. Those ints, man, man, it is just. He didn't look good, fellas. He did not look good. He 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 just didn't. And honestly, I wasn't a fan of Salaz. However, however, I hope he moves on. Gets a I'm not saying a better opportunity, but another opportunity to do something. But I hope the Jets and Rodgers go down to shitter. I do. I I hope. I I hope they do. He just needs to play. He just needs to play better, man. And, and like I said, man, it, it's just it's what it is. It's the business. They they didn't have to do it, but they had the owners. He, he just wanted to do something. And he's not even the one that that brought you know Salah and him in there. But but man, when you look at Sal, Salah, man, what he got the 21, 22, He had what Zach Wilson. Yeah. He shipped him off, and Aaron Rodgers tore his Achilles last year, and then he comes back. He's legit like four games in, and they, and they give him the – man, they lock the doors on him. Yeah, and it's crazy because on the one hand, you say he didn't really – I hate to say he didn't get a fair shake because you don't want to use the word fair in sports, but he did have the deck stacked against him in a lot of ways. But what's been going on with him and Rodgers? Rodgers, you know, flipping out and missing practice. He misses practice. Or, OT, or whatever, minicamp, then blames it on the coach. He doesn't hug the coach. And then they do the way they did this, it just reeks of Rodgers. Even though the owner says it was on me, you don't do this without Rodgers signing off. And like I said, you spoke to Rodgers. He has not been there for a full season, really. And you're going to speak to him. I just think it was dirty. I just think it was dirty. That's 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 why when you wine and dine somebody and fly them back and forth and basically make them to come there. I mean, that's what you get. I mean, you got any any Real, realistically, to any true franchise core, especially when you're talking about Hall of Famer, owners are going to, you know, you guys sometimes you talk to teams about, about moves like that before or after they happen or whatever. So that it, that does not surprise me that Aaron Rodgers, you know he'd have to be. Why would the owner do that and not even talk to him? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. also on this aspect, but it bothers me when – Because they're giving so much power. They're, that's, they're, this is why they act like that. You know, so, and, and Rodgers is not the first guy we've ever seen get a coach fired. But, you know, I don't know, man. It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was done dirty. It, it was done yeah, dirty. I don't like it at all, man. I, and I know he had a lot to do with it. So, and I'm sure that he causes a lot of issues in that locker room because I'm sure people were with uh, Salah and they wanted him to be the coach. And then you come and you pull this shit. And, you know, he just doesn't seem like a good, a good teammate. He doesn't. He seems like an ass. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you all saw, though, but he has the same record there this year that they had last year right after he got hurt. So what's the difference in the quarterback? Same amount of points scored, different quarterback who's supposed to be a superstar. They ain't going anywhere with that dude. That dude, like you all are saying, is nothing but a pain in the ass to that organization. Fellas, but we, we, we we're, we're, we're real quick, and we are going to get to our Steelers. We're all Western PA boys. Yes, we're going to get to the Steelers. We but see all these comments. We, I, I love it. I love the fact the Bills. You got rid of your top your top offensive weapon or help for Allen. Now they're suffering. Allen's not looking as good. Oh my! What happened? You want to put your all your eggs in a basket of a forty year old Rogers off in a torn, torn Achilles? Does that even you wouldn't seriously? You wouldn't even make him captain of your rec team softball league, and you're going to put a, everything. Hall of Famer, man. You know he's going to be a Hall of Famer, and he's just not playing up to the up to. He's today, as of today, he's a bum. 
He's not wow. playing well. Bottom line. And you, you saw him. You know, dumb, dumb, to say, dumb oh, Fox, or he called him washed up. He says he this is the up. first time ever in my career I've thrown two interceptions and I the first go about bro. If you're specifically pointing out your personal stats and stuff like that, man, you're the problem. It's just yeah. that, instead of saying, you know, I came out and I turned the ball over a couple of times when I normally don't do that. I got to be better with the football. Do y'all yeah. think yeah. he want to yeah. play though? Yeah. Say it again, Russ. Like, do y'all think he want to play like? Because he's kind of at this point like a kid that just getting away whatever he could do. So it's like, do you think he even got the love to keep playing football anymore? Because that's how I seen. He loves cashing those checks. He got money. Yeah. It's like yeah. if I get away with, it, I'll just do it. Yeah, because he's not putting. He's it's he like doesn't care no more at all. Yeah, yeah. And they got that's some talent. It, you get hot. Yeah. The team gets hot, and you make a little run. Hey man, go out. Just you have a chance to go out on top. Hell yeah. I mean, but if he, he plays what everyone, the way everyone thought he would, everyone was saying they're potentially AFC. You know, Super Bowl yes. contender. But, they were. But, but, yeah. but, I, but I hate when people do that because they don't take real, re, realistic views. He's right. 40 years old. I'm not trying to be funny. How many 40-year-old you guys you know that could even go hoop at the local rec center with the 25-year-olds, let alone at this position, you know what I mean, or at this, at this level of sports, number one. And number two, I understand he's a Hall of Famer, and he's, but when he was 30-some, you know what I mean? Now he's 40, and when I say 30-some, I'm talking 32, 33. Yes, he's had some decent – numbers over the years but fellas he, i'm glad this is what happened but again you gave him everything and now you you wanted him you got what you want but now do you want what you got and i you know me i'm happy i'm loving that he's suffering i'm loving that alan's suffering you know what i mean but but let, let's get on it man we know what everybody's here for you know we got some other topics we'll, we'll circle back to them our Pittsburgh Steelers. Me oh, and Mike. Man. Not, bro, you, me, you, bro, you jumped all the way to the end. Yikes. Well, all right. We, well, here's why. Because we're, we're halfway through the show. Yeah, we, 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 we got to cover this. Me and all Mike. Right. Doc, we're, yep. we're technically, technically, we're cousins. Our grandmothers were sisters. But we're really brothers. We've been going back and forth on this joker since Sunday all right. night. Let's go. We got, we, got, we got a lot of people commenting on Tom. Let's go. I, well, go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not even, I'm not on this one. I have been Tomlin's got to go. I'm not even on Tomlin on this one. It is what it is. You know what I mean? I know Barber feels differently. Of course, Lamar's. We see Lamar, Lovelace, and some other people. Tomlin got to go. Tomlin got to go. I'm not liking what he's doing. But my biggest thing is, I don't see how people are putting that loss on the defense. That's my biggest problem. That's my problem. I don't think. I don't think here's, right. my, here's my position. I don't think anyone is putting the loss on the defense because the defense, like you said, created turnovers, blocked the field goal distance, this and that. But the bottom line to me was there's look, just right around five minutes left in the game. You're up by four. Dallas has to go 70 yards. All you have to do is keep them out of the end zone. Keep them out of the end zone. 70 yards in five minutes. You let him do it in four some odd minutes, and you let him score. You let him score on a fourth down, and you left your offense with 20 seconds. I'm not saying the defense lost the game, but you can say, man, when we needed you, you didn't deliver. You know so what? Technically, you and lost. Listen, and you know where this is going, y'all. When, when we needed you, I need, you, I need dogs to show up. I don't need okay. you to show up in the fourth quarter. Okay. okay. But, but what I don't get is, why the defense and they'd be wrong and the offense is soft as medicated cotton. Okay, you needed me to make that one stand. However, they've got the highest paid QB, the highest paid receiver, and they have an explosive offense. But let's take that out of it. But when I needed you to make, when I need Dak is the highest paid quarterback. CD yes. Lamb, so they haven't had. CD Lamb didn't do anything the whole night. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. Go ahead. You're, you're right. He didn't that night. But he's always capable of it. But my point being, Thanks. you asked us to do that one thing. You've asked us to do that one thing. But what about when we gave you three turnovers and a block punt or a block field goal attempt and you couldn't do anything? You couldn't do anything. I told Mike Doc, honestly, that is like some deadbeat dad who has a, a baby's mama with three kids. He does absolutely nothing for her. He cheats on her all the time. And as soon as she has coffee with another guy, he wants to tell the kids mommy broke up the home. When you have done nothing, when you've done nothing for that relationship the whole time, that <laughs> offense has done absolutely jack shit 
for this Whatever. defense. And now you're like, we got to – and nobody – we're shocked now when a defense actually holds in the fourth quarter because you realize every time you're like, okay, they left the offense 20 seconds. They left the offense a minute. They're going to be able to go down and kick the field. Thank you, missing we, the point. We automatically – Bottom line, five minutes, you're on the field, we're up by four, don't, don't let them score a touchdown. We're Period. in a league that it's they expect everybody to score. That's the circumstances you didn't deliver. Especially when you got guys getting – especially when you got some of the highest paid guys on that side of the ball. At okay. every level. At has every level. To do. M. Hayward Your quarterback is the big line. TJ. Your quarterback has absolutely Queen. zero to do with the $160 million that they're spending on defense. Zero. They put all that money into the defense. The defense needs to fucking step up. The offense. No, step up. Are you shitting me? Are yes. you shitting me? They gave up a touchdown with like 20 seconds left to a third straight Holy running fuck back. Down. I can only hear I can only hear yeah. so much. If I'm investing $160 million in a defense, they better pitch shutouts every goddamn okay. week. First off, we know that's not how the NFL is set up. The, yeah. the NFL, the yes, NFL is set up coach, for the offense. Your head coach has his team set up like that. He believes in the run game, and if the run game can get him into the end zone for 14 points, he expects the defense to shut everything down. Yeah. How blind are you watching this? You the run game is trash. Team Hold team on. Who is the, who is the best? Hold on. With this guy. You take whoever the best quarterback into the game now, the best you ever won. He didn't throw for three touchdowns every game. The best thing you have to have, it is a team effort. The best defense, the highest paid defense, gave you three fucking turnovers and blocked a kick. And you're asking, God damn, you're going to ask him to do everything? At that point, oh. why even put the offense on the field? If you're oh, literally going to ask the defense to do everything. Because you got low management on number uh, on pickings. You're low managing your best receiver. I don't give a shit what it says on his nose. Okay? Well, Tell your head coach to play the fucking guy. He's the only one that can catch the ball. Yes, yeah, now Pickett should be playing. Pickett should be playing. All right, all right. Ding, ding, ding. Everybody go back to their corners now. Everybody go back to their corners. Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, Doc. Look, man, let's 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 not let's sit up here and act like when there wasn't a big difference in that defense okay, when Herbert went out. When Herbert went out, man, it was a big drop off, man. They're having Jeremiah Moon in there rushing the passer. TJ could not come off the field. He was the defense was exhausted. I'll give you that. But the bottom line is because oh, they needed him to keep him out of the end zone. And I hear that- what, what what Mark is saying to Barber, man. I hear his frustration. Because that's the reality of the NFL, just like we talked about. Who's the best about. defense in the league, right? Who's the best well, defense in the league? I don't know. Tough, man. You mean by numbers? San Francisco. Who do you have as the best one. defense in the league? Frisco, number one. Number one against the rush. And, so you have Frisco um, is the I number one defense. I sent you all this information in a text. Okay? Pittsburgh's not even in the top ten in either of those categories anymore. So yeah, you they can had go out game. the window with that. The one constant on this team is the same fucking guy who's had poor secondaries for almost 18 years, poor running game for almost 18 years, poor passing game for God knows how long. The one constant is the head coach because he thinks it's 1986 when you can <laughs> run the football and leave your defense on the field to stop the game. Guess what? It's not. Make a move, brother man. <laughs> uh, I honestly... Yeah. But I've said that before. It didn't matter who the OC was, quarterback. Tomlin is Tomlin. He, you know, you he he is who he is. Tomlin's not going to change. On. Then you he, don't redo his contract. You'll get somebody in there that has some balls that's going to play today's game, not 1986's game. I'm sick of watching it. I think Tomlin. Me and, great, me and Mike Doc over here all the time. Don't get rid of Tomlin, fellas. Fellas, listen to me. Listen to me. Can we? Can we just? I, 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 I appreciate the enthusiasm and I, and I have a healthy appreciation for the frustration, but can we just come back to reality? He ain't going nowhere no time soon, fellas. No. So let's no. talk about the now. They're not going to do it. Still is not going to get rid of it. How problem. do we fix these here. problems? Because well, listen, okay. Here, 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 okay. Run here. Canada out of town. Oh, Arthur Smith, this is going to be the greatest here. thing ever. This is how you, this how you fix it, My, Doc. Doc, this is how you fix it. You bring in better assistance. That Arthur Smith, that mustache he got, and them sketches he be wearing, he out of date, man. He's out of date. Yeah, that was terrible. And everybody, a lot of people said that was a great. Oh, he did wonders with Tannehill and Henry in Tennessee. Who, when you say a lot of people, who's a lot of people? Well, fellas, Tannehill threw for ninety percent of the league. Yeah, everybody. Tannehill threw for four thousand yards. Wait, wait, wait. You, mean, you mean you mean all these friends, all his friends? We go knowing. 
Bro, you had a you had a running back that went for over two thousand and a quarterback that went for over six thousand. We just we just now again I would admit the the offensive line is patchwork and they've had injuries there. Mike Scott sure. knows that better than anybody, but I don't know. So we expected him. We, we knew they were going to run. We expected, and they had Warren. Expect him to be healthy. I like Warren. We had Patterson. I thought he was going to do some things. Come on, Sheen. You you come on now. Come on, chops. Let me say this, chops. Let me say this, chops. Because we got to touch on this. Najee Harris, bum. Listen, he's slow. We can't see. And then listen. No, I'm saying, listen, every time a running back gets in, they run to the hole somehow and get five to six yards. If you have a run game, that's going to open it up for your pass game. You, you know, they, they it's so predictable that whack ass offense he's running. It's predictable. Anytime he got like he got like 40 people on the line, what you think we're gonna do? We running the ball, man. Come on, man. Spread yeah. them tight ends out. Na- Najee Harris is the type of running back. He has to he has to have a, a solid, excellent uh run blocking offensive line for him to get off, man. If he has a nice Listen, offensive line, he can get off. Doc, Other than Doc. that, he's not fancy. He's not. He Hold on, Doc. Hold hard, on, Doc. He so, can't take away. He can't so how does Jalen Warren and Cordell Patterson get through the holes? Like, like they, you know, they're quicker. They're much. They hit the holes much quicker. Yeah. They Even and their pads are square. Look, last week when Derrick Henry took one eighty-seven yards to the house, weighing two hundred forty-five pounds. Najee Harris ain't doing that. He's not taking one eighty-seven it's time to get yards. Rid of him, Doc. It's time, to, it's time to put him on the bench, Doc. That's not what he has. He's not breakaway speed. He's a thumper. So if you want the the, the, the lightning and thunder and the flash to bang, if you will, like they have when, when Warren's in there and they're a one-two combo, they're much better. But if you watch every time Najee's in the game, they put eight in the box, nine in the box, and say, you're not you're, you're, you're not running it. We know that's all you have, and you're not going to do it with him. Do you guys remember what Noah told us? Chops, you remember Noah told us? What part? Yeah, I know. He told us, he told us that they are not resigning Najee. Yes, said, it's Warren obvious. Going to get the contract. Warren is getting the contract. Damn. I just read an article today. But don't be surprised. The Steelers don't dangle Najee out there at the trade deadline. Would any team take, they don't would any team take Najee as a starter? Is Najee still a starter somewhere? Yes, the Raiders will because both of their backs stink. I think they want to receive Hey, listen, Zamir White, bum. My list of bums is just getting bigger and bigger. There's a lot of bums. Russ, Russ, what do you think, Russ, about Najee? It's just the offense to me, honestly. The offense has been lackluster for several years. Ain't nothing transpiring. Ain't nothing about it popping. Every other popping team got new college coaches trying stuff, going on fourth down every time. And when it don't work, you mad. But when it works, it's like we got to praise this guy. So that's my problem. Like, it's just all – it's been the same like this for five, Minute. six years now. That's Minute. a problem. Let me ask you, if, they, if they had a true number two wide receiver – I was getting ready to ask. How much better do you think it would make this offense for them? I don't know because the players are still right really now, better. man. All they got is pickings, and we, we try to find youth every now and then. That's it. I think it would, I think it would make it a lot better because again, it's going to open it up for the. They both complement each other. One one works for the other one. If Van you can run, Jeff- you can pass. If you can pass, you can run. Van Jefferson is your wide receiver too, and he has sixty-two yards in five games. Okay. Can we all can we all say it? Bum. Okay. Did you hear what Tomlin said about Van Jefferson? When they asked about Tomlin, when they asked him about George Pickens blocking, he said that ain't his job. Van Jefferson's on his team to block as a receiver. That's what Tomlin said. Whoa. Okay, but here's my thing. Here's my thing. It would be different if they had the Steelers had to go to Moot 10 to 12 targets a game. Van Jefferson, 10, 12 targets a game, or running backs because Pickens was doubled. They're not doing that. Nobody is feasting on our passing game. So even if you bring in a second wide receiver, what's he going to do? It's not like all the all the uh, targets are going to the tight ends or running backs in the flat. True, true. I don't get So even if you have another tight end, what are you going to do? What how, The offense is yeah. going to change? See, now we're going to open it up more? Here's the issue and the blessing. Like me and my son talked about this about Pittsburgh. The, the 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 issue is you have a very young offensive line. You have a rookie at center. You have a rookie in McCormick now who was a fourth round pick at right guard. You just got Seal Malu back. 
your best offensive lineman. Before that, you had Spencer Anderson in his second year, seventh round pick pay, playing there. You got Broderick Jones in his second year at right tackle, who you really don't even want there. You wanted Foul Tanu there, who was your rookie, but he's out for the year. And then at left tackle, you got Dan Moore in his fourth year starting for you. That's a young offensive line, bro. And then you only have one wide receiver that we're all saying that's all they have. That's, that's, that's very difficult to overcome. So how much can you really do and how much should we really expect? And then you lose your backup uh, running back, your third running back. And then but that's what I'm saying. you know that all you have is nausea. You're not going to run the football. So but that's what I'm saying. Like, like if you we, really look at it, but as time goes on, they start gelling get more comfortable, get more experience, and that offensive line becomes better, whoever's back whoever's back there is going to gonna, gonna get off. Period. That's what I'm saying, though. Is it the line? Is it the He's line? Young. Because those guys can get He's yards young. when they get the ball. They're it's young. just Najee Harris can't get yards. They're young. I like how Frazier's playing, though. Come on, Doc. You, you, you evade him, man. You're swimming. No, it's a young offensive line. It takes time, man. It takes those guys can get yards. Najee Harris can't. Man, it's the NFL. I don't care who you put back there. Sometimes, like I just I just broke it down to you. When Najee's back there, they know he's they you're not gonna do it. But if you put Patterson back there, you don't know if he's gonna go out on a on a on a on a on a, on a, on a route. Uh, Warren, you gotta be careful with Warren. He'll he'll outrun you. He got a little bit of speed to him. Najee don't have that. He don't, he's their thumper, but right now he's the only running back they have. Keep this in mind, too, fellas. They had the opportunity to get rid of the offensive line coach, just like they got rid of their receivers coach. And they buckled on that, and they brought that shitty-ass Myers guy back. And that's a big part of the problem, too. He, yeah. sucked in, he sucked in Carolina, and he sucks in Pittsburgh calling the offensive line plays. Well, we can't you know, say they didn't invest in it because Chops was mad when, when Pittsburgh took Nazi in the first round as a running back saying, why would you draft a running back in the first round when your offensive line is terrible? But let's look. There's there just this last two last three uh two drafts. First round pick, uh Jones moved up to go get him this year, took Faltanu, took McCormick, took Frazier, first round, second round, fourth. Like they're investing in their offensive line. They're just all rookies and they're all real young. Let That's me ask you this. How did the, do the Steelers have the youngest offensive line in the league? Absolutely. They have to. Absolutely. Okay. They got three four, they got three rookies starting. Okay. How well do you think is it normally that three rookies, even if they were healthy, would do well? Have we ever seen a line that had three rookies go to the playoffs? I asked that. And number one, Steelers have had good great receivers. They've had some good receivers over the years. How many of those off, how many great or good offensive linemen have the Steelers had? Because we know they, they mix on dots. They got some like they just went out like a in the Hall of Fame. Okay, now, listen, I gotta go. I gotta go. The boys on the field now. Love you guys, man. Keep doing the great work. All right. All right. Have a good I just, one. I just, when when you're investing in your upfront guys are all that young. That's it. That doesn't. I don't know, man. I, 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 don't, I don't know. They invested in Pouncey, first round pick. DeCastro, first round pick. Yeah. All those guys. Fanica, first round pick. Yeah. First round picks. How many? Which one of those guys do you think will be Hall of Famers? How many Pro Bowls they make? Panica's already in. Panica's already in. Pouncey's first ballot. What do you got? Twelve Pro Bowls. Pouncey's getting in. And I don't think they were all warranted, but Pouncey's probably first ballot Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah. Castro's going to get in eventually, probably. Potentially. Yes. I don't know, man. We'll see. But they definitely need a receiver. Let's talk about. Hold on. Tomlin didn't draft. I'm talking about the guys Tomlin drafted. Offensive lineman Tomlin drafted under with him and Kevin Colbert the last eighteen years. He didn't hey. draft. He didn't draft Fanica. Okay, since then, go back to his first year. They drafted linemen. They brought hey. in free agents. They brought in Jeff Harding from Detroit. Like they they brought in people, man. They've hey. done some things. They do, yes. uh, Marvell Smith. They drafted out of Arizona State. Started left. left Max Starks out of Florida. Started left tackle. Just, hey, you just mentioned another bum, Doc. You just mentioned another bum. Ooh. Kevin Colbert. Bum. <laughs> Bum. <laughs> why you say why you say Colbert? Look at his draft pick. pick. Listen, go when you get a minute, go back and look at his draft picks. I, let's just say he picked for 10 years, and let's just say he has 70 picks. He might have went 13 for 70. Well, I mean, he had so many bad years. picks. Yeah, his last couple of years were bad. Bum. Yeah. But we're gonna get to the bums in a minute. Don't you worry. Got to throw. It was bad. But look, fellas, when we're talking about the Steelers. 
I know there's a little bit of rumblings out there about Justin Fields, or is it time to put in Russ Wilson? Uh, what about Pickens, man? Do you guys think Pickens has an attitude problem, or do you think that's okay? This is just normal diva behavior for wide receivers in the NFL. Who wants to go first? Because I already got mine. I want to know what Russ thinks. He's of the younger generation, Russ. What you got? Yeah, that's there. Yeah, Russ is hey. the quarterback. Which, which, which one you want? Or Pickens? I just want the ball. Just give it to me. But if you taking me out, I'm I'm not blocking. I mean, honestly, that sounds crazy. That yeah, sounds no, that sound crazy. But that's I'm young just, people shit there. I'm just keeping it hundred with y'all. Like I'm just not. Like I'm not getting the ball. Y'all never give me a chance to help. But I will say it's not cool when he do that and you're not catching a third down easy pass though. Yeah. You know, if you're going to be doing stuff like that, you got to be a dog all the time, though, now. Right, right. So I will say that, though, too. But that's my opinion about Pickens. But My thing about Pickens is this. I'm mad, too, because I'm trying to play for my next contract. If I'm and if I, if I got 40 catches a year, I ain't, you, know, Listen, you can we, see what I can do. Team, everybody yeah, and their mama knows Pittsburgh plans on paying Pickens. They don't want to let that boy yeah. go if he acts you're not, right. He's going to be a top five, top three. They're going to make him up there. They're going to pay him because they don't got to pay nobody else. They, 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 they get they. But as long as he keeps acting crazy, but I'll tell you this: somebody posed a question, said if he's doing this while he's making rookie money, what's he going to do when you give him that bag? Like they and they compared him to A B. <laughs> Look at she. You That's what he gonna do. Take off his shirt, take off his equipment, and run off the field. <laughs> but can you find a young receiver that will get the bet that's not gonna do that nowadays? I don't think that's even possible though. But here's the thing. That's, that's some true, shit. Man, but you, they that all, is, Larry Fitzgerald wasn't like that. That is some shit I'm saying the in the last five years. In the last five that years. That is some shit the Steelers worry about. If we pay him, is he going to go crazy? All these other play, players. You have to. Receivers. It's an investment, bro. These, investment. these yes. other teams. Hold on. That's shit the Steelers say. All these other teams are paying oh, their wide outs. Do you think the Vikings said, do you think if we pay Jefferson, he's going to lose his mind? If we pick no, the Steelers are doing that dumb shit. They're conservative everywhere. You had one wide receiver, and we think really after he got hit by Burfix is when AB truly lost his mind. However, all these other organizations are not having the they're not saying, Well, do we pay Jamar Chase? Do we pay CD Lamb? Because once they get their money, they're gonna lose their mind. That is shit that you only hear in that dumbass flip. That's not true. CD Lamb just went through drama with Dallas. CD Lamb just went through drama with Dallas. Hold on. CD Lamb went through drama because Steve, your boy, owner of the Dallas, takes a while to pay everybody. But they were okay. not saying, but it's they're hold on. But they're not saying we're worried about paying him because if he's acting like this now, it's, how's the he going to act? Aren't like? saying that. That's the media. That's everybody else around the saying this is the theater state. You know, you know, media are. And well, you're right. Closed well, doors. But they okay. They Maybe. only attach that to Pittsburgh. They don't attach it to anywhere else. But also, you Not don't have true. anywhere Randy else. Randy Moss went through the same because of a lot of receivers. And Stephon Diggs is still catching flag. Josh Allen's taking shots out of the media. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. on Not because hold on. They did not say it because we pay him, he's gonna act up. Stephon Diggs was pissed because even though he was the leading or second target getter or whatever, he was still pissed, not thinking he was the biggest part of it. My thing was that how many other teams are even leaked to the media, whatever, they're worried about paying this man. Because he could act up after he gets his money. And they said that bullshit about Randy Moss in Oakland, where at that time everybody's career was going to die. Then once he got elsewhere, yes, everybody was going to Isn't Oakland. Isn't that why Randy Moss dropped in the draft, bro? Randy, where, where did Randy Moss go? He Minnesota. dropped in the teens to Dallas because he had problems with Marshall. And all, that's why he ended up at Marshall, because he had problems. He already had character. He was already a hothead. Otherwise, he would have worked top – Three. Yeah, but he 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 should have had it because yeah he. But I'll say this: Listen, Pickens, Pickens is going to get paid. He just, I get it. He's. Do you think they'll pay him top six wide receiver money? Top Absolutely. five wide. Yes. You think yes. they'll pay Pickens top five wide receiver money? Yes, 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 yes. With no numbers. It doesn't matter about his numbers. It's just a matter about their system. They we they know what he can do. They see I him every that, day. I, they think, know what they I agree with that part. They know what he can do, but they just again. need to get him in the right system with the right quarterback. Does that, and get it popping. That's all does they that need make to do. It, does that make it even worse that they know what he can do? But yet the court, the coach stands there and says, 
we put him on restriction or we we limited his reps because all the other teams with star wide receivers, they're figuring out ways to get their top guy the, the ball, end well, around whatever listen, crazy plays. And I, I if the Steelers, like, nobody can do yet they're still not featuring him. Let me ask you this because I see it like this. If you're Mike Tomlin, you're still right now, you're still sitting there three and two. You know George Pickens is the only receiver you got. That's it. So if you have an opportunity to give him some blow, take him some time off, cool his head because he's frustrated, he's he's about to blow, you could do that. That game was winnable. They had they were winning the game. What young wide receiver, as Russ said, with their mindset, what young wide receiver you think that's going to work for? We're not throwing you the ball, and we're going to take you off the field? None. Let's None. not forget, he don't have to sign with them. He can go. He can. He can. He can shop his wares elsewhere. For I'm, I'll be he for three, four years. He what wide receiver would be okay with that in all NFL history? Right. Yeah. Right. You got to You got to scheme ways to get him the ball. But when teams understand you don't have nobody else, first of all, he's getting a top dog corner. He has certain. He cooks certain a little bit, but he had digs on him. And then every team is putting a safety over him. He's getting double team. They're trying to eliminate him and eliminate uh, that. That's all they have. Bro. Well. Yeah. So rather than say we're limiting him, rather than talk about when he doesn't block, why don't we say we know what he can do? We can't get him the ball. We can't get him the ball. Because even in the media, Pickens is catching hell. Last year he caught hell. This year he's catching hell. We all know what he can do. The media acts like he's so-so. You know what I mean? I, that's what, that's, that's what yeah, bothers they, me, man. And you, you know, know what this man can do. Treat him like you know what he can do. We all know the media is going to take shots at players, man. You take a playoff, and then you you have a little bit of just. I'm not validating, but I'm saying you got a little bit of history. It goes back to last year when you he wasn't blocked, and then the next, very next game you show Jalen Warren blowing somebody up so that the team scores, and then he changes that, and 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 you think you turn it. There's a little bit of a little bit of a pattern that makes you say, okay, this ain't nothing new. Let's just and Tomlin, let's give him credit. Throughout his career, he's always kept these kind of cats under wraps. A.B., we had no clue that dude was crazy and doing all that oh. cut up like that at all. Look here. You got the urine in the med field, Doc. I can't prove it. Don't blame it on I think that hit from me. Don't Burke. put it on me. <laughs> I Pickens. think he cooked these. Listen. I think he cooked his beans. Also, I think Pickens is special needs. So you're going to have that with special needs guys. I don't know about that, man. Listen, I, I, I'm telling I, you, he had an IEP. I guarantee you, he had an IEP when he was in middle school and high school. Guarantee it. <laughs> guarantee it. I guarantee it. I'm telling you, he had an IEP. Guarantee Look it. Here. We we can't we can okay. do Steelers all night. We can't talk about that. Look here, real quick. And this night's <laughs> almost over, so you might as well keep running with it, buddy, baby. <laughs> Let's move on, <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> Wow, Jesus, Lou. He said, MLB yeah, started. Really right, MLB, too. the playoffs. We're divisional playoffs. Are any of you cats watching any of it? Me. Which, which, now, what series, what has stuck out to you? What are you, what are you down for? You know, I'm going to tell you what series grabbed me first was, of course, the Royals and Yankees because I've been watching the Royals for these past couple years, and I kept saying they're getting better. They were young, and now they finally made it to that. But then – San Diego and the Dod the Padres and the Dodgers. Ooh, they they got the, the, uh, uh, pure, Machado. Pure, Machado. Uh, when he threw it, Machado throwing the ball into the no, 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 he, no, he he robbed him of the home run. That was Ooh, yeah, yeah. Was for. He robbed him of the of the home run, and then he's and then he's standing in front of the fans like this, and they start throwing shit at him, and then it just it just started going crazy, like some some WWF WC. Yes. Yeah, um, I feel, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't when if the if 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 the wild card or that one game playoff if the Pirates are in it last couple you know when they were I would watch. I don't normally start watching baseball until it's elimination game in the divisional series. Then I'll uh, watch NLCS. And but this one, fellas, I ain't even going front. The way the Mets were in, how they even got to this point, that was exciting. So yes, I ain't gonna lie, your boy, your boy's been watching. It really has. Real quick, did you see what your boy was, Darvish? Did he shut the Dodgers down? Said you want to let me go? You ain't gonna give my dough. You'll see me again. He he did he did his thing to those boys, man. He did, he did his thing. You know what's oh. frustrating for me? Like baseball, like I like watching a little bit. Otani, I like the big stars. The whole 50-50 joint. 
it's just so frustrating, man, when you see the Pirates, man, like, and, and nutting, man. Like, it's, man, it's like, man, dude, let me, give me the team. I ain't got a lot of money, but they, I'm bringing somebody in. Like, we gonna have somebody. We just ain't gonna have what we draft, and that's it. Like, we got yeah. – it's ridiculous, yeah. man. Yeah. It's ridiculous to be that bad let so me, long. People want to talk about the Steelers, man. The hell with Mike Tolman, man. They need to get on, on – Oh, on. that's ridiculous. Listen, that's ridiculous. Doc, we've, been, baseball we've, been, we've been saying that for the last few weeks, Doc. Yeah. It, let me ask you something. The real, best real quick. baseball. It's yes. Crazy. Yeah, they do. That That is a pretty part. Crazy. Real quick, on the real. See – Rush, do you do you like all sports? Do you do you follow the pirates much or you don't really get down with them too much because yeah, they're terrible? A little bit. Okay, so they they change the rules, the pitch clock, all that. What is there anything they could do? Do you even do you even find baseball? Because fellas, baseball, even during the regular season, used to be exciting. We used to watch a lot of games. Yeah. Now, like me, I don't watch until playoffs. Are they even getting you young the younger guys? Are you even like do you even watch much baseball or you know, or is it only play? Seriously, big because let's not forget, we used to love we were kids, we liked baseball. Yeah, because we, we had good teams play. too, though. Yeah, playing it. Pretty, I love yeah. playing it. I don't really care for watching it, so it. it's too slow. Pitch. Uh, yeah, going to a game like, is cool, it's real cool, but watching it, that's it. But like wow. they say, you know, man, Davy Parker, you went back. You know I mean, we had guys like that, so we damn yeah. we was watching. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you see him. They shoot. They smoking that that marijuana. You see that man? Uh, <laughs> that, uh, that is me, the, the, reefer, that's oh, I'm the sorry. medicinal that, privileges. They called it reefer. I'm sorry, reefer. Medicinal privileges. That's smoking that, that hash. What you sipping on, Doc? <laughs> A little bit of crown. Regular blackberry. Regular. Blackberry is like medicine. Man, Probably. no, that blackberry's fire, man. With with simply lemonade, man, and a little bit of like Sprite or fruit punch Canada Dry, man. Man, I'm telling you, man. Let me tell you something fire. real quick. Fire. 15, Twenty yeah. seconds. I'm at Mike Doc's house, chilling. Right, we just got in town. We grab our shower. We're about to go to bed. About to go to bed. It's eleven thirty. It's about. To, we're about to go to bed. Okay, this, this he says, "Yo, man, whoa, whoa, whoa! Y'all shower and then get ready for bed." I don't know quick. what this man is talking about. <laughs> <laughs> see, here, see, here's the mentality. Oh, I don't even think like about. that. I can't even put those. Th- I can't even put that shit together. I don't even think. I can't hey, even put hey, that but, hey, Doc, those aren't pillows. I don't know what my man talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> he says we need to try this blackberry no, clown, <laughs> right? And uh, in 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Just shots with blood, Bud Platinum as chasers took a whole bottle of Blackberry Crown. Wow. Next day, drunk as Cooter Brown. Fellas, Good. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you have not had that Blackberry Crown, try, that Blackberry Crown, you should like keep promoting them. them yes, I'm about to say sponsor, sponsor by Blackberry Crown tonight. For sure. Man, so all right, fellas, real quick. In the in the uh, we got the the Tigers and the Guardians. Who you like? Guardians. All right, fella. We all got the Guardians, or we got. Yeah. Okay, on the okay on the big one in Padres. Yet yeah, Padres, Dodgers. 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 Okay. Oh man. All right, Yanks, Royals. Let's go to big dogs. I'm going with I'm going with the Royals. Royals, give me the small town team. You know oh, I'd love team. to see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd love to see it. Who you got, Rusty? Who I got you the got Yankees. Rusty? Gotta go with the Yankees. He young. See, the young boys yeah, take we, the best team. Not, hey, we, we rock them with it. They, hey, the young boys like talking. all the best teams. Golden State, Yankees, Patriots. Hey, here's one real quick for you fellas. Maybe the next show, Chops, for, for the barber, man. Uh, Ovechkin, man, they yeah. see like 40 some goal, 43, 45, somewhere on goals away from uh, Gretzky's thing. Does he get it? Is going to be the question, man. Does he get it this year? 40 now, goals. How many years has he been in the league? Maybe 40, league. 42 oh, goals away. I, I, don't think he'll, I don't think he'll get it. So we need to break it. Four, yeah, 43 breaks it. 42 ties and 43 breaks it. Okay. All right, fellas. Hey, great night, Russ. Thank you for joining us, Young Buck. Mike Doc, appreciate yes, it. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yo, don't forget, continue to tune in. We love you, OSP. We love the support. Keep showing us love. Are we in it on that one? Have a good night, y'all. I was cooking tonight.
I'm gonna start calling myself Chef. Shit, bro. 